Happy Tuesday, everyone. Welcome back to Chats with Chase. Here's your next tip. This part, which is from the tip of the assembly we saw yesterday, has quite a few different faces and edges. In this case, most of them are more on the prismatic side and easily calculated. However, if there are enough different faces, or they're a bit harder to calculate, they might cause an issue just while you're looking at the feature manager design tree. You can see, as I move my cursor over the different features here, the corresponding edges and faces highlight in the graphics window. This is called the dynamic highlight. Performance is fine now, but with enough complexity, it can be very taxing on the graphics card. This can happen especially when there is text embossed or engraved, like there is here. If you can live without the dynamic highlight in favor of smoother performance, you can turn it off. To do so, go into your system options with the little gear icon here, select the feature manager section on the left, and uncheck dynamic highlight. You'll still be able to check what faces are related to what features, you'll just have to click on the feature so it's a little more manual. Thanks for watching. Contact me with any questions and I'll see you tomorrow.